Hi, I'm Tom Frame here with Jeff Prace. Jeff, in a moment I'm going to ask you to cut off a packet of cards, but that's a very boring, uneventful task. You don't learn anything and there's no challenge. So I'm going to try to enliven the procedure a little bit, okay. if I can. For hundreds of years, magicians and gamblers had been using estimation to perform miracles and win fat pots of green. Estimation is literally estimating how many cards are cut off of a deck. Having a pretty good idea how many cards are cut off of a deck can come in very, very handy, shall we say. Uh, however, determining precisely how many cards are cut off of a deck is a very, very different proposition. It's a very daunting task. It takes years of practice and self-denial. That's because a playing card is as thin as the coarse guard hairs of a fertile platypus. Jeff, when's the last time you closely examined one of those critters? Well, actually, at my 21st birthday in a hot tub, but I couldn't tell if it was a male or female. Stop! Stop, you fiend! Jesus, have you no shame? Oh, there, you learned something new. You'll quickly try to burn that memory away, I'm sure. Anyway, uh, Jeff, I'm challenging you today. The challenge is I want you to cut exactly 15 cards off of this deck. And I didn't do this before, so I better get, guess I better do it now. Fifteen cards exactly. If you succeed in cutting fifteen cards off of this deck, you will win a luscious Reese's Miniature Pretzel Cup. <laughs> That's a good reward. I know you love them. So, uh, hold, hold on. Before, before you do so, keep in mind, about twenty-six cards down is half. Thirteen cards down is a quarter of the deck. You're looking for fifteen. So, a quarter plus two. Hey, before you do it. <laughs> There's a couple dozen people watching, so give us your A game. Right there, that's good for you? Yeah. Okay, before we show you the cards, before we find out if you cut the cards, let me show you what you could potentially win. And here we have there it is. the luscious Reese of happiness. There we go. Well, I guess the anticipation is just about killing you right about now, so go ahead, pick up those cards face down. Count them down to the table, allow one on top of the other. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 12! Oops. Do I still get the candy? Nope. No candy for you. <laughs> so, well, since we're here and since we have a deck of cards anyway, Jeff, what I'd like you to do by cutting off those cards, I mean, I have no idea what that card is. I asked you to cut off 15. Obviously, you didn't do that, so I really don't know what that card is. So take the cards, hold them face down in your hand, listen to my directions carefully. Do not deviate from them in any, any manner. Place the deck underneath the table for maximum security. You got that? Mm -hmm. Now the card that you cut to is now the top card of the deck. With your other hand, take that card, take it off the deck, peek out of yourself, show it to the crowd, all look away. After you've done that, turn it face down, put it back underneath the table, and stick that card, bury it in the center of the deck. Okay. Have you done that? Yep. Okay, leave the deck under the table. Okay. Bring your other hand out. Examine this card case, if you would, please. Looks normal, empty. Just happy, empty case? Yeah. Okay, very good. Remember that you did that. It's very, very important. Now, take the card case, place it underneath the deck, underneath the table, rather, and put the deck in the card case and close the flat for maximum security. Have you done that? Yes. And it's now safe to bring them up onto the deck. Very good. Now, Jeff, when I asked you to examine the case, you gave it a visual inspection. Yes. That's what most people would normally do. I mean, that's what any rational person would do. But I'm a therapist, and I don't spend a lot of time in the rational realm. And you know what? A card case speaks to me. It, it might speak to other people, but I seem to be the only one that can hear it. So this happy hallucination will hopefully identify your card. Let's see. It was a black card? Yes. An odd card? Yes. A seven? It was. A black seven? Black seven. It was the Seven of Spades? Yeah, Seven of Spades. Yay! Hooray! Now I know what you're thinking. 
you're thinking, well, gee, Tom, just because you suffer from a frightening psychotic disorder that allows you to divine selected cards, that doesn't really qualify you as a card magician. Well, good point. Good point. Mm -hmm. So you want to see some sleight of hand. Sure. You want some pizzazz, some dazzle. All right, watch this. Now, honestly, I don't know where your card is in the deck. Neither do you, for that matter. And the cards are inside the case, which makes this much more difficult. But let me see. If I... If I a couple of... And a few, like... I think... That should just about... Let me see. If we, yeah, that should just about do it. Seven of spades, you say? Seven of spades. And the seven of spades. Wow, nice. Thank you. Thank you.